Hey guys, it's Oscar. How you doing? Here for a Shave of the Day recap and also a new product um, first impressions, if you will. Um, so today, actually the other day, I got in the mail the Phoenix Prismatic. Caught wind of this on the G Plus. Um, had a grow mustache page. Douglas was was putting it out, and I jumped on it because it was just. The, on the wet on the pictures it just looked it looked pretty cool um another throwback um an homage again if you will to you know to some of the classic uh equipment designs um that he's been you know that he's a fan of with the uh you know going back to the double open comb um which is a remake of the old i believe it's king king shaving or king razor company um and his you know he just came out with a bakelite um so he's a big fan of the throwback stuff so Obviously, he's going to update it, um, and if you look at the product details on, on the PAA website, he explains, you know, what, what alterations he might have done um, to it. But real quick, um, history on this razor, on this type of razor, is the, um, I have notes right here, from the Kirby Beard Company razor, or the Kirby Beard Company out of England and the La Reche Razor Company out of France. Um, they... Uh, this is basically what it used to look like for the most part, but it's obviously it's updated now. Um, one of the first things I noticed with this versus now I've become very um, accustomed to and I believe very proficient with the double open comb, the Phoenix DOC. And it's really easy for me to maneuver um, and get around, you know, get it around into my rough spots and, you know, under my nose and. And, you know, you can, it's maneuverable. I love it. It's the, and the weight is fantastic. Um, but, uh, what I, one of the first things I noticed with this one is the thinner, the thinner head design. Um, if you can see, you kind of see the top cap, you know, I'm going to compare it to the Phoenix. Um, the top cap is really, actually the whole head design is really narrow. If you can see that versus the head design on the Phoenix, like the top cap, for example, is more narrow on the prismatic than with the Phoenix. Um, that's not a bad thing. Douglas even addresses it, says he, it, it, the, one of the things he likes about it is the thinness of the head design, and it makes it easier to get into the hard to reach places, for example, right under the nose, you know, here, um, you know, the corners of, I always have problems in these areas. Um, and in some, some of the harder to maneuver areas that a bulkier head design would cause problems with. For example, this, this one that I, this is a, um, a Gillette, it's a twist open one. And this head design make, does make it a little harder, prismatic, very good, um, does make it a little harder to get into those areas. And that is a knock that I have with this head design. So that was one reason um, that I that I was glad to get this one, and I just used it today for the first time, by the way. Um, so, so I was glad about that. And another thing, when I loaded the blade, um, there was I'm, I attached a picture of the blade exposure. There was a lot more blade exposure when I first got this. I saw how much space there was between the bar and the end of the top cap here. So when I actually did put a blade in there, you'll see that there's a lot more blade exposure than there is with something like this. Now this one, I really liked it. It's a little more mild. I said in one of my um, initial videos on the the double open comb that I what I really liked was what he called with these channels here. It it allows for what what Douglas calls self lubrication, and the one of the biggest things I love about this is that when you're shaving it leaves the trails of the product and it's still wet. And so you, it's still wet and you have trails of soap here where you can directly go straight into your subsequent passes. Like I go with the grain, I can go directly into and against the grain, for example. And that is why um, I really like this and I, and I have been reluctant to go into, to go back to a straight bar um, razor. So, um, but with the what he calls the scallop top cap, here let me show you. What he calls the scallop top cap with these channels in here, it's 
it's kind of supposed to be the same idea as those channels in the double open comb, just not as pronounced. Um, when I use that, I honestly didn't really get that, mainly be, maybe because I'm so used to this. This is pretty much the only razor um, I use besides the occasional use of that, um, that twist open. Um, but I didn't really get much of that same effect that, that you do with this this one here as far as the channels self-lubricating and leaving the product um, but what I did get was efficiency with this um, uh, with it being light the the audible feedback was really pronounced and really metallic almost almost tinny like tin um, really metallic but that shouldn't be a drawback it, it was just something that I noticed um, and as I'm swiping I could really hear it doing its job i could really hear it going through the hair i only had a couple of days worth of growth so um so the hair wasn't that thick um but i really did hear it and i felt it i felt the blade contact a lot more than with this one um and so that told me i, I needed to be a little more careful because i asked douglas about how he would describe the aggressiveness of this razor and he said medium now that's to me i think aggressiveness is subjective because obviously one man's mild is another man's aggressive to some degree um i would call this high medium for me personally in my opinion again i've only been using this one for the most part and this one is definitely low medium aggressiveness in my book um so i had always said that with this with the double open comb it's not aggressive but it allows you to be aggressive, if that makes sense. It allows you to really um, not, you know, press down and really scrape the shit out of your face, but it allows you to go directly into, if I wanted to go directly from my, with the grain, directly into my against the grain, I could with this one and I'd be very comfortable with it. Um, with this one, I, I don't know that I could. Now this is only going on the first use, um, but with this one, it's still maneuverable because you'll see it's the same it's the same size um, as the double open comb as far as um, length and the weight is pretty similar, but the thicker head makes this one a little heavier. Um, <coughs> so I I didn't want to be as aggressive with this one as I am with this one until I'm more used to it. Now again with more blade exposure and the different um, setup with the bar and and the aggressiveness of the blade. Um, I need, you need to be more careful with this one until you get comfortable enough with it. And I will eventually just not, I'm just not there as much, obviously one shave. Now, um, if, if you're okay with, you know, DFS, as some people say, damn fine shave, this is, this is cool, but I'm stubborn. I want BBS. I, I will go to whatever lengths I have to, to get it. I'll even, I'll even break out. I know sacrilegious I'll even touch up with a cartridge if there's a few rough spots I get really stubborn rough spot I can't get BBS until I go over it a few times especially right in the jawline here and in the Adam's apple because the hair here grows this way um, but I will just go I will just go over it with this just for final touch-ups because um, the multiple blades um, just makes it easier to just go over one spot really quick than you know, then to keep going over with one blade. I know, shoot me, but I will sometimes have to break this out to get that BBS I'm after. So, um, but again, I, um, I think I would rather use this when I have more growth because it's higher on the aggressiveness scale than this one. So if I only have a couple of days, then I would probably use this one again after one use and I did use a blade that was on its third it was a persona lab blue it was on its third use so maybe the blade combination and stuff wasn't the best so <coughs> it's not a knock on the prismatic it's just different now as loading the blade you'll if, you, if you'll take a look you'll see the curvature on this head I noticed is less pronounced than the curvature on this head so then when the blade is tightened down it's going to be on the on the double open comb it's going to be more bent down like this 
and with the kind of the flatter the flatter head on this one the blade is going to be more it's going to be less curved if that makes sense um so you got to pay in mind you know to the angle i actually on my th third pass coming up on the neck i actually had to work to find the angle coming up because uh, I'm not used to that straight bar. So initially what I was doing was I was basically just scraping the soap off with the bar and I wasn't getting any blade contact. So I had to adjust like this to make sure I was getting blade contact. And again, that's just from not being used to this one and being so used to this one with the blade angle and the curvature of the head. So all in all, I, I like it. <clears throat> I'm just not used to it. Um, visually, as you can see, it's very eye-catching. Um, you will get a lot of audible feedback with this one um, because of the thinness of the head. But again, the thinness was intentional. <coughs> was intentional according to the product description on the PAA website. And um, he did. He said he he basically just tweaked um, the the posts here and here I, they must have been originally round maybe but he did tweak these to be the same as the doc in order to help keep the blade in place and you don't have to mess with um you know blade alignment and whatnot so here's a here's a closer looks at the the top cap and the base plate you see they are pretty narrow and you can kind of hear the the more metallic -y sound the handle is exactly the same as the, the double open comb. And just, you know, hand tight. And there you go. It's, again, the size and the weight, very proficient, very um, maneuverable. Um, and if you're not as used to this one as I am, then maybe your adjustment, your learning curve will be a lot less and a lot easier if you decide to use this one. Again, I like it. It's hard for me to to get away from this one because I I like it so much and I've become so used to it. But um, you know the quality of Douglas's products and you know that he puts thought a lot of thought into these things. And um, again, I I share his interest in a lot of the throwback stuff. Um, so I'm very glad I got it. Again, it's m more aggressive to me. Um, you know, if I have to give it a scale, you know, one to 10, I would give, I would give the double open cone like a five and this one for me again, like a seven. So, um, again, it's subjective. You guys may think that this is a pussy razor. I don't know, but this one to me was a lot, was more aggressive than this one. So you had to be a little more careful. Um, again, just getting used to it, but first impressions visually, it's fantastic. Nickel plated. Very eye-catching. That was, a, like I said, the first thing that got me was that I was visually, it was awesome. And again, I know Douglas puts a lot of consideration and thought into um, into his product. So I jumped right on it as soon as I could, and I got it um, yesterday. So um, I just got to gotta get more used to it. So um, try it out at $24.95 on the website. Um, definitely worth it. And uh, this is going to, you know, work its way into normal rotation in, in my den. So um, that's my first impression of the Prismatic. I used it today. I attached the shave of the day picture. I went full, I went full Phoenix today with the Harvest Moon, which is still one of my favorite scents. And of course, um, you know, Phoenix, Phoenix soaps are, are, are top notch. So um, uh, representing uh, setting state Aztecs and... So Sharp Limited, David, um, shout out to David, um, go see him at a, I believe he's working weekends at Old Town Shaving Pasadena, uh, always a great place to go, go say hi, and uh, also kind of tying, tying in with that, San Diego State, my nieces go there now, and one of David's uh, alumnus, alumni plays for them, Rashad Penny plays for the Aztecs, he's a good kid, he has a really good future. So. Shout outs to everybody. Hope everybody's well. I may have rambled. I hope it made sense. Um, in the end, worth it.
definitely worth the price and try it out. So everybody be well and we'll talk again soon. Peace.